Hey everyone, have you tried Adobe Premiere Rush? It's actually surprisingly powerful, even though it's free. And after digging into it, I thought I'd share three reasons why you might also want to incorporate it into your workflow as well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is King, and today I want to talk to you about Premiere Rush because I've officially launched my first Skillshare class. Ooh. Yes! First quarterly goal done. If you're not on Skillshare, use the code in the description to get one month free. But without further ado, let's get to number one. You can edit anywhere. This means that you can edit while waiting for the bus, in the queue, or on your commute. And Rush is on iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, so that's pretty cool. All you need is a free Adobe Creative Cloud account, and it's got two gigabytes free so that you can sync up all your devices. So before I learned about Premiere Rush, I'm a Premiere Pro guy, so I just edit everything on there. But one of the things that I realized after becoming a dad, working a full-time job, and still trying to make videos is that if there is any friction at all in creating videos, it's just not getting done. Hence the, you know, lack of videos over the year and a half. So while Premiere Pro is this sort of massive, all-encompassing tool, it can also kind of feel like a burden that every project I'd have to set aside hours to try to get even just the footage into my computer, and then, you know, setting the project up, getting a project going on Premiere Pro can feel like an obstacle. And if you're like me, you don't have a lot of time, so then you got all these memories saved on your phone, that's probably just gonna sit here or on a hard drive and never really revisit it. I mean, check this out. Just a few months ago, he's like this. Aww. Chubby, couldn't really do anything. But now he's, he's walking, he's making funny faces. <laughs> <laughs> I just really want to capture these moments in vlogs because that's the only way that I really revisit them. But with Rush, my mindset changes from, oh, every video I make has to be this epic thing. Now I can actually just go out to the park with my son, you know, shoot some videos, come home, sit on the couch, and then bang it out in 15 minutes. Or if it becomes a bigger project, I can just open it up on my computer and just continue editing there. But I know you might be thinking, King, my videos are like, works of art and can this little app actually do what I need? Which brings me to my second point. It's powerful but to be completely honest, by design Premiere Rush is supposed to be a lighter version of Premiere Pro. So if your video needs to be very sophisticated, then yeah, you know, something like Premiere Pro is going to be much better for you. But for the majority of videos made for YouTube and social media, and personally, it's got all the tools that I need for my videos. And in an attempt to see how far I can push Premiere Rush, I did the most meta thing where I actually created a Skillshare class I talked to you about earlier um, about Premiere Rush uh, entirely on Premiere Rush um, and it came through. And in that course within 15 minutes I take you step by step on how I would actually edit an intro like this. Alright, it is happening. No, 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 like more like. It's happening. Kind of like my way of saying, hey, if you got 15 minutes and you're interested in Premiere Rush, I've condensed all that information and so you can just watch it, learn basically all the tools that is available for you and decide whether this is something that you want. So yeah, it's got multi-track editing, audio splitting, and you can change your orientation from horizontal to vertical, transform adjustments, audio enhancements, color correction, pretty much all you need. And it's even got a free library of animated text and graphics that you can just use. I mean, check this out. This is also something in Premiere Pro, but honestly wasn't something that I used very much. Maybe because I'm an animator by trade, and even though I was intentional about not spending a lot of time animating, um, this still takes a lot of time. But with this, I didn't realize there was so much that it was already there. And, and I mean, look at this stuff. Anyway, like I said, if you want to stack the deck in your favor, like Ali Abdel would say, and you got 15 minutes, that's probably time well spent, personally speaking. And finally, other pro features that I think you might find interesting, uh, at least this is the one that I'm mostly personally interested about, which is called auto reframing. It's actually a feature that lives inside Premiere Pro, but it's also available in Premiere Rush. Basically, if you've ever wondered if I could shoot one video and make it work for both YouTube and Instagram, you know, having both horizontal and vertical versions work within one edit, this is something that you'd be interested in. So by default, auto framing won't be available because it only comes into play if, say, a footage doesn't fit the screen very well. Let me show you an example. Let's say you want to export this footage to Instagram. 
So we go over and change the aspect ratio under the preview from landscape to portrait. And obviously this won't work. Normally you then have to adjust all your clips manually, which is a pain. Maybe adjust the position, scale for every single clip. But with auto reframing, Premiere Rush will do all of that for you. So let's turn that on. And will you look at that? It knows that I was the one talking, so it focused on me. Magic. And that's all folks. If you're interested, do check out my course on Skillshare. And if you don't have an account, just get one month free with the code in the description. But yeah, my hope is that Premiere Rush is gonna help you reduce the friction in creating content so we can keep that YouTube dream alive. And may we all keep moving forward together. See ya. I've spent a lot of effort trying to condense all the information here so that there's no fluff and you can start making content right away. Because at the end of the day, it's not really about the tool. It's really about what you can make with it, right? I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. I'll see you in class.